Stagecraft is all of the technical aspects for anything that goes on inside the Performing Arts Center and then also other small varied areas around campus. And we provide lighting, audio, costumes, construction, sets, painting, and any other technical support in the area. I think students should join the class because it is a great place to learn a lot about real world items. So we do a lot of hands-on training and especially in different areas, um, you use a lot of problem solving skills and critical thinking and we get to create a lot of art, which is also a lot of fun. Favorite part about this class is definitely seeing the students kind of blossom as they go through and really have those aha moments. So that makes it really fun when they were able to figure something out on their own or work through a problem. Definitely favorite part of this class is being able to see like everything come together once you all begin cooperating and incorporating every single detail and every single aspect of everything we've been working on for like months and seeing like shows and plays and musicals all come together and make this beautiful masterpiece. I definitely recommend going to this class, especially if you like uh, the theatrical like aspects of performing arts. So aside from like just being able to build or even design lights and stuff, lots of this experience can go into other future jobs, especially if it comes to design, because it's a lot about your planning as well as just um, kind of adding little details to make everything just fit perfectly. And we have uh, at least three computer science teachers. So along with Mr. Shen, Kevin Shen, and Mr. Brian Zerla, we are the computer science teachers at Arcadia High School. Our pathway matriculates up to a couple AP courses. There is AP Computer Science Principles and AP Computer Science A. AP Computer Science Principles introduces students to the foundational concepts of computer science. It's a year-long course, it's an AP course. It's very popular worldwide among sophomores. Uh, it explores how computing and technology impact the world. Uh, APCSA is a year-long course in Java programming. It's a bit more rigorous because kids just take that one topic of Java programming and get pretty deep into it. It's certainly beginning college level. I feel like designing my own program is something that's really interesting because we didn't really get to do that in CSA. We, even though we wrote code, it wasn't um, it wasn't a program of our own, but this class gave us the chance to do it. So the program is simple, it's required by College Board, and so if you take this class, you have to design one. And my program is on Nobel Prize winners. Basically, you gave the program a parameter. For example, my selection is year and um, area of winning prize. And after you input them, the program gives you a corresponding Nobel Prize winner that got the prize in that year. But as far as teaching day to day, I just love seeing the kids out there work together. You've taken video of our kids at tables working together. There's no rows and columns of students. Kids come in and they're immersed into a group structure and they work together just like in the real world. Nobody, no one person makes a program. People work together to make that program. So our class is a three-part class for the medical healthcare pathway and it's really there for anyone that has any interest in um, the medical field or going into any medical field. So we have anyone from nursing to physical therapy to, to MD doctors that want to go into the field and we teach three classes. Well I think it teaches you like a lot of, um, sort of career practical training like stuff that sometimes you don't even get taught um, you know in the college setting especially if you go into a different career and stuff that can help you. CPR is a perfect example of that. Like, feel like um, you know, should, every household should have someone that's certified in CPR and first aid and things like that. So um, I feel like everyone, like freshmen coming in, that everyone can take something from it. And maybe you don't know if you want to go into the medical field, but you, you've had injuries before, maybe you're curious about that kind of, that kind of field. So I feel like um, students should just try to take the introduction class to see if, they, if it's something they want to pursue, maybe. I've always had a passion for going into the medical field and I thought this would be a great way to step into that. So I think that sports medicine was where I needed to go. My favorite part would be like the hands-on experiences that we have because it's not always lectures or just sitting there 
watching the teacher talk. We're interacting a lot with other students practicing. It's a great way to learn new skills. It's not a stressor that you have to worry about, even though it's a little difficult to get the terms and all that, right? You'll still have a fun experience. You'll be able to learn a lot more in the medical field. The beginner classes, they do sort of more like a lot of food safety and stuff like that. And then we do more of the, um, the newer type of techniques. And then my advanced class, the culinary science, they do, I try to do a little bit more advanced stuff with them. So we're gonna try to get into some, um, a little bit more fun things. Cooking in general is sort of uh, like a life skill that you should have, especially as they start to move out of their parents' house. I think it'll help them um, not have to eat fast food all the time. They can make food for themselves make them a little bit more competent in life. They have to be able to manage their time to make sure they get everything done. And then uh, team building, we put them in groups since we only have seven kitchens. So it helps them uh, learn to work with other people. And then like I said, I think everyone should have sort of a basic understanding of cooking. In the end, I think I took this course because it's fun and you know, it kind of helps you with time management because everything in the kitchen is timed and you really got to uh, prepare yourself. You know physically and mentally. Well, we've made Mexican food. Um, we made cookies last week. We did a taco bar for the staff. Oh yeah, and now we're making pies, so. And it's like really fun. You get to eat your stuff after. Like everybody loves to eat, so it's. Uh, we learn how to use tools such as Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. And we learn uh, photo editing, and some things we, we've created are um, cultural festival posters, uh, concert posters, uh, posters for various organizations around the campus, and right now we're working on uh, going outside of the campus to create posters for organizations in the community. In graphic design, I learned how to use many Adobe products and how to use Photoshop to create logos and designs. The most rewarding thing about graphic design is how I'm able to gain a new appreciation for um, all the design and art elements that go, go on in, in our modern world with the use of computers. Future students can expect a very project-based course. They are really allowed a lot of freedom but by Ms. Moo to express their creativity. And they gain a lot of uh, uh, life lessons and experience through Ms. Moo always talking about uh, the, the, the new things uh, going on in the world, in the industry and always giving advice for, for college and how to navigate uh, post-college post life, which I think a lot of courses um, don't really focus on. But uh, the degree of freedom and, and, be, and being able to work with computers to create art, I think is a really unique environment for students to be able to experience. Um, I feel like performing is a great way of expression, especially for young teenagers. It gives them the opportunity to share what they're feeling inside, and especially within our program, because we have such a large focus on choreography, it really helps them develop their artistic skills. Um, also, dance in general is just a very strong discipline that fosters a lot of important skills that will help them, um, not only in dance, but in their other academics. Beginning dance is much more focused for the beginning student, somebody who really hasn't danced before and um, we do a fusion of styles in that, in that course. Whereas intermediate dance is really for a student who's been dancing for a while, and we do units in ballet, modern, jazz, performance, and more. For orchises, this is a more intense study into dance. Um, all the students within orchises audition each year to be a part of the company, and they spend the whole entire year developing their technique and their artistry as choreographers, and they also get the opportunity to perform on campus, off campus, and they um, get to work with choreographers from the LA area. Um, so Orchises Dance Company is the advanced dance, uh, dance class in the dance department at Arcadia High School, and basically we, chore uh, we choreograph our own pieces, and we work with outside choreographers to create create the big spring show at the end of the year. So at Orchestra Dance Company, you don't just do dance, but you also have the opportunity to work with a team of 30 dancers. So together you learn to be able to have teamwork, but also endurance and stamina as you dance. And in addition, you have leadership opportunities, so you're able to learn to be able to work with others and mentor your underclassmen. We do a variety of stuff. We start in the beginning with the basics of what entrepreneurship is, what an entrepreneur is, what it takes to be an entrepreneur, and we go from there throughout the semester, building on different things and ending with the, the students do like a major business plan. They create their own business. They learn how to do that. They learn the process. 
Um, we talk about everything from managing employees to getting the financing, finding locations, researching, all those types of things involving with it. It's a, mostly a project-based class. It seems to be working really well. The kids enjoy it and the popularity is growing. Uh, what encouraged me to join this class was basically my parents and several other my family members own businesses and I'm kind of interested in running my own business in the future, um, possibly. My favorite part about the class, probably the teacher. Mr. Grip is really nice. He really can teach you about the class and he makes it so it's not always boring. Um, if you do want to go into business, this is a great starting class, especially because um, you can learn the basics of business and also you, he'll teach you how to run a business, manage it, and like the costs, the risks, and how to be an entrepreneur in general. Uh, I think other people should join this class. Like, like I always say, high school is kind of a place where you can go to different classes and explore your interests to figure out what you want to do in the future. Business management, honestly, is like very beneficial. Doesn't matter if you're going to own a business later down the road. You can also gain like really good life skills, leadership, organization, everything. It just gives the other students a real life introduction into the realities of like running your own business, trying to start your own business. I bring in outside visitors. I usually try and have alumni come in and drop in and they share them with the process they've gone through. And the kids hear from real life people that it, although it's incredibly rewarding, it's a difficult process and it takes a lot of hard work. Plus I use some of my background running a business. I'm Bill Chapman and I teach the engineering design pathway here at Arcadia High School. We have three classes. The first one's introduction to engineering design where the students learn how to design using the engineering process and they use uh, 3D modeling uh, software, professional software. The second class, principles of engineering, is uh, kind of a mix of a physics and an engineering class where they also learn how to code so they work with a lot of uh, electronic systems, mechatronic systems. Uh, and then the last class, Engineering Design Development, is the capstone class and, and it's also a competition class. So we attend the first robotics competition among others. The whole purpose of this program is twofold. One, to show students why they learn the math and science they, they do and that we're applying that in the course. And the second is to give them a feel for what it's like to be an engineer. Yeah, okay, so hi, my name is Kevin Chang and I am in uh, 12th grade and I'm the captain of the engineering design and development team. I guess it's fun. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to join the class uh, my freshman year when I first uh, like took a tour of the school and I walked into like this workshop and I thought it looked really cool and like I, in middle school, I had already been interested in robotics and engineering and stuff, so I knew this is like a class I wanted to take in high school. It is one of the most fun things you could ever do. Uh, everyone is just great to be around, and also you get to play with power tools. I love watching the young men and women grow up. I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, uh, I see people come in as freshmen, and really I'm not sure what's going on and by the time they're seniors their path is laid out ahead of them. It's fun to watch. Uh, in my classes students get to work on uh, small and large-scale video projects. In my beginning class we're mostly in our beautiful four camera studio here on campus. My intermediate course tends to get outside of the studio and work on short films. Um, and then my advanced course, Apache News, produces the weekly news show, Apache News, and also weekly sports live streams, special events. Um, we cover a lot of real events in that class. My favorite part about being in a video production course or teaching it um, is this the amazing projects that we get to we get to be a part of and the coolest thing that we get to do in my program is that we get to make real stuff we make a real new show for the student body of Arcadia High School um, we go and live stream real sporting events for uh, people at home and people all across the country who get to tune in and see um, their family members their students their grandchild um, get to be a part of something cool on campus and we get to be there uh, and help share that with the community. So what inspired me to join APN is that at first I just wanted more experience in the filmmaking areas. 
Um, I also wanted to expand myself through、um, journalism, getting to know more people, and as well as getting to learn more about cameras and filmmaking gears. If you love to watch movies or if you love to make films,、um, edit videos, do stuff like that, it's definitely a great experience for you to have. And you get to meet a lot of cool people, get to learn from them, and teach others your expertise as well. I'd encourage students to take this class if they're, you know, looking to be a part of something real, a part of something that they can,、um, where they can create something and have a project that later on they can show others and and feel like they've produced something that's going to have an effect on other people's lives. Thank、you